Good morning, Cyber Traders. How's everybody doing on this lovely Tuesday, July 10th? Good to see you. Good morning, everyone. Good to see you. Mark Miles, good to see you. Grant, look at you guys. George, look at George, Kenneth, Neil, Dave, Donna. Good to see you all. Fernando, all the Cyber Traders. Good morning, everybody. So let's get right to it. It's been an exciting morning so far. We're going to talk a little about that BLIN trade up 135%. Uh, I'm pretty much done already for this morning. <laughs> Early bird gets the money, but we're gonna talk a little before we get into uh, what's moving this morning. A uh, couple, of, a couple of announcements really quick. Just to let you know, traders talk today at one o'clock. One of the one of the benefits of being part of the cyber group room, where we're gonna talk about all the winners and losers and kind of evaluate some of the questions all of you guys have, so we can go in detail. Uh, that comes with the cyber group meeting, so uh, hopefully everybody enjoys it. And then, uh, once again, get ready. Class is going to be starting shortly. Phase one, two, and three going into a new month. I'll tell you, time flies. But uh, don't forget, guys, as time flies, summer is very short here. So try to enjoy it and spend as much money and uh, time as you can. And uh, like what ended up happening yesterday, let's talk really quick on some of the big, big winners that we had yesterday. First of all, I want to touch upon this Twitter trade. Twitter was such an easy, easy short yesterday. A lot of people made money on this short, 47, all the way down to 42. Uh, stock was holding there so strong for about two hours. And then finally, I don't know, someone must came with a big order and just spiked it. But uh, that was pretty easy. You can see support levels. I did say that if it did break 42.50 yesterday, the stock is going down to 37. And it kind of didn't, didn't want to do that. But uh, crazy volume, fun stock. And, uh, you know, regardless of... The fake account news and everything, fake news with Twitter, that they're part of, you know, having all these accounts being made. Listen, unfortunately, their catastrophe makes our opportunities. That's what we have to look at it. So anyway, good, good winner. A lot of people made a lot of money on that trade. A uh, couple of round of applauses from what, from what I see here. Uh, who, who did well? Ron made 40 cents. John made 29 cents. And then he made another 40 cents. Made his day's pay. Uh, did pretty well. Who else did what? Steve made a, I think a buck twenty-five. Everyone did pretty well on it. A lot of you guys, from what I could just count to what I wrote down from yesterday, give you guys a round of applause. The big big winner I thought was which was great was Staff yesterday. Staff was just just a. This is what day trading is all about, everyone. You have a stock that goes from two dollars all the way up in about an hour and a half. Goes stock goes to five fifty. You know. Did anyone here make 350 on that move? No. Great traders, remember, never buy at the bottom, sell top. You're always buying between. Like, for example, who did really well? Andrea made 93 cents on 2,000 shares. Give him a round of applause. Ken made over $2, you know, on staff himself. Big, big winner. Give him more round of applause. Uh, and last, uh, last but not least, just want to bring up one other big winner we had yesterday, the, the MV, MBVX. Uh, that also was a really quick pop in the morning, very inexpensive stock. Not a big, big mover once the market opened up, but everyone did okay. I mean, Gary made about 52 cents and Ron made about 47 cents. Good for you guys. You know, you do that every day. You make 50 cents. If it's on 100 shares, but the goal is to trade 1,000, you do that every day. 1,000 shares, 50 cents, is your six-figure salary. That's what it's all about. All right. So anyway, that's the past, everyone. Remember, now let's talk about the present. I know a lot of you, there's hundreds of you guys trading, and, you know, some of you missed it, some of you didn't get it, you know, whatever. Don't worry about it. Today's a new day. And you know what? Let's start off talking with the BLIN. Uh, the B -L -I -N. Now, let me just fix my chart here and kind of show you something really quick. Um, this stock was a pretty much an easy, easy winner. Uh, I just want to bring over to chat and just show you what happened. Uh, here we go. Here's the chat. And just want to bring this up. So you guys could see here that I started right around 8. I'm always here at 8 o'clock in the morning, sometimes here earlier. Uh, I started around BLN, you know. Good morning, team. We're always saying good morning, just showing you what's happening in the morning. Beyond's coming up to resistance. I was up 27. That's about 8.06 .08 in the morning. Resistance at 3.20-ish. Okay? That's at 8.07. Um, Next resistance, 3.50. I'm out. 41 cents. I think I'm done for the day. That's at 8.09. Uh, let me just bring up the chart and show what we're looking at. 
that right around that time was right around here, guys, uh, when we were looking at it. And you could see how it hit resistance. And I said the resistance levels, that was at 807. That was right around here. 807. Oh, there we go. Yeah, almost there, right, right here. You could see how it basically, you know, right around that price, right around there at 287. And boom, it did go all the way there. Uh, at the 320, it had a resistance level. So anyway, this is the guidance. This is what we do. This is what we, how we trade in the morning, you know. And this is what you know. This is this is Cyber Group at its best. But once again, how do we know it was resistance? Not because the chart told me so. Not because a long-term chart is all about the ice orders. There were big, big block orders. Stock traded two million shares already. When I was looking at this morning, we only trade almost a million, million and a half. All right, so a lot of volume. I you know. It's got major resistance levels right here. You can see it right there. Iceberg orders are popping up there. You know, they keep coming in and out. They're hitting their orders, whatever. But we'll see how it goes uh, when the market opens up. But as of right now, you know, pretty good mover um, so far. DC, DCAR, another nice little mover here. Stocks about 16%, 90,000 shares. She started trending down a little bit. She's down 30 cents from its highs in pre-market. But this was a little bit of an expensive stock. The stock was in the $13 price range. She's taking a little bit of a big hit. I might consider it taking, uh, uh, looking at it. Let's see how she does. But there's a little Fausto flag being built right now and kind of throwing me off. Next one I, I found this morning, RSLS. Nice little cheap stock, 13%, 200,000 shares. Very, very nice spread. Good, got, got some nice iceberg orders out here. Nothing substantial, but I did see a couple of thousand orders come in. Uh, this stock, you could see, took a huge hit from $25. Maybe it's coming back. Who knows? You know, I mean, you never know. So maybe the, this is uh, the swing trade uh, for a long, you know, people starting to average down, you know. So that's something that always I always like. Same thing with SMT. Another one got decimated. Um Another one that might be bouncing back. I'm going to keep an eye on it. You know, I, I like this one. Uh, you can see it was a $13 stock. It opened to two. Never came back. But now it's one of the first days that she's up. It looks like she's going to fill in the gap. She breaks its resistance levels right here. And I'm not seeing too many orders out there at the, at, on, on the sell side. So this could be a really good sign for the stock to break out. I mean, I'm going all the way up here. You got some limit orders, but nothing substantial. Volume is pretty decent. 137,000 shares in pre-market. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right. So um, I'm going to keep an eye on that one. I'm not a fan of it yet, but that's basically what I got. Other than that, I looked around, you know, when I mean, you look over here on the on the losers, I mean, I thought I was going to see a couple of shorts. We know why this stock is down, you know, um, ISR, you know, I mean, there it, it wasn't really, it wasn't really a lot out there. You know what I found? I don't know what this is. All oh, this is a training stock. I don't know what the hell that's all. I don't know what this is all about. Uh, yeah, there's really not a lot out there. That's basically about it. And that's typical summer trading. All right. Guys, anything I missed that I did not call out? Uh, Fernando says, what about the C, the CL, C, um, oops, not wrong. The CL, the CLNE. You know, <laughs> It's a 5%, 12,000 shares. Not really crazy about it, Fernando. Not really, nothing really attractive about the stock as of right now. I don't know. She is gapping up a little bit, but not really good day trading stock. I don't know, maybe on your swing trades, but I would probably pass on this one. Listen, there's always a new list that's going to come out. We always find new ones. Hey, listen, Twitter wasn't on my list yesterday morning. It just came out and it started trending down. That was so damn easy on that short, you know? But once again, you got to be more an advanced trader here at the Cyber Group. Um, you, know, you got to be at least above a level. You actually, you always got to be a three, but it could drop as low as a two. You know, um, definitely was no one stock, knowing that it's a brand name stock. But that's about it. So we don't have a big list, but we got a pretty good quality list. So we'll see what we got going on um, going into this open. And like I said, traders, see something, say something. Anything I'm missing, guys? Anything else? All right, don't forget, traders talk today. Uh, at one o'clock, I will be do hosting a big event on TradeStation on Thursday at 4.30 Eastern time. TradeStation is going to be showcasing me uh, on a big, big webinar to their whole uh, their whole company, their whole uh, all their traders. So once again, if you guys want to come out and 
and uh, come out and support CTU and also, you know, kind of see some of the questions. But I'm going to spend a lot of time focusing sp exclusively on that matrix uh, and how great of a platform it is. So um, look forward to seeing you there. So that will be on Thursday at 430. All right, guys. You can always go to that website and register or just uh, just send me an email at Fausto PSCTU Corp. And I'll get you the link if you can't find it on their site. All right, guys, listen. Good luck. Happy trading. See you back at 1 o'clock for Traders Talk and 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. And then Cyber Traders, see something, say something. And all you new members here, hopefully you're having a great time and enjoying it. Uh, but like I said, it's the greatest job in the world. It pays a lot of money, but it's not for everyone. So, and that's okay. All right. You got to learn before you can earn. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.